the... In a continent known for its long-distance prowess, this race was not a great showcase, just six runners. More evidence of this championship's struggle for credibility. Joyce Chepkirui won from fellow Kenyan Emily Chebet, but she wasn't pleased. I was unhappy with a small field. It does make the race really difficult, and it's sad to see this is an African event, which is supposed to be home of long distances. For me, it was all about trying to make a name for myself. Away from the track, South Africa's Godfrey Hotsomokoena won his second triple jump crown in the space of two weeks, beating Nigeria's Tosiroke both times. Even though I've lost both titles, it's, it's been a very promising year for me, so I, I can't begrudge um, someone who's performed really well. I only had a couple of triple jump practice this year, because I was, I was also focusing on the long jump this year, so uh, this was a surprise for me. Uh, I think slowly, slowly, big distances are coming. 1500 meter world champion Aswell Kiprop of Kenya was among those who qualified for the finals. The former Olympic champion is looking to atone for a disappointing season so far, where he failed in his quest to lower his lifetime best mark. Representing Kenya has been my priority most of the years. I've done that for the last seven years. And um, being here also, I mean, makes me um, remain that kind of an, an, an I mean, continue my, my, my medal hunt. It is a two-country race, however, in the battle for top honours, as a South Africa ended day four top of the log on a superior gold medal tally. Nigeria is close behind. Thursday marks the final day of competition. Celestine Karone, CCTV in Marrakesh, Morocco.